Uh, are you ready to go? Kill, you know, the Lord of Evil? Let's do it. As nonchalantly as I can possibly say that. Absolutely. Dude, my guy's cape is pretty swaggin' though, I just realized. It is pretty swaggin'. The clothes right. are kinda nice. Bright red. Absolutely. Kinda looks like a... Dude, you know who, you know who my person <sighs> kinda looks like? like? She sort of looks like a flapper. A flapper? Yeah. From... Oh, with the the hat, yeah. Yeah. Kinda. Alright. Telling you, man, I mean... Diablo's like technically a woman, and she's got those mouth things on her shoulder, and she's got boobs. I can see them. Mm hmm. Uh, I'm sure as soon as she turns around, the booty will be fat. I'm just saying. <laughs> no, Mitchell, <no>, Tony. <laughs> you weren't expecting that, now were you? I can't say that. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, um. Alright, Diablo. Alright, look out for those cage things. What is this running animation for Diablo? What the fuck? Come on. You should see the running animation for Diablo 1. It was the most ridiculous. I'm gonna get you. Oh, e. uh, ooh. Ooh. If you wanna be my lover, I gotta get with my friend. Make it last forever. Ooh. I dodged that with a pro. <laughs> I think I should. Here, wait. I'm gonna respect my skins. This is a bad yeah. time. It, for real? Come on, we're fighting the Lord of fucking Prime Evil. Okay, I'm good. Okay, we're good. D well, he's aggroing you, so whatever. Yeah, oh. We're good. I almost okay, got wait. stuck in one of those skeletal yep. things. All right, it's just the cooldown thing. Ooh. Because it basically makes it so I'm allowed to teleport every time Diablo. This fight is like mostly. super easy, as long as you don't stand in those. All right, we're going to phase two. All right. Damn Diablo, it's a moose knuckle if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Come on, girl. No. I mean, I understand, like, you're, like, the only woman in hell that's, like, worth anything, but, I mean, you could at least try to make yourself look nice. He's probably trying to look nice for Deckard, but, you know, Deckard kind of died, so... <laughs> hey, Deckard! Look at my nice moose knuckle. Oh, that's nice, Leia! And... I mean Diablo, I mean... What are oh, you? I'm in a cage. Help. Help. What do you want me to do? Get me out. Help. You're dead. Let's okay, just cool. spam your Q. If you wanna be my love, you gotta get with my friends. Maybe last forever. Friendship never end. Okay, Shadow of Swiggy Simo, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Okay, uh-oh, I get him. I can feel your death upon my boobs. Serious, if I, if I was this Archer Knight guy attacking Diablo, I would just talk shit to him the entire time. Alright. I don't know, tastes like ass. <laughs> tastes like ass and shame. <laughs> With an aftertaste of Skittles. God, uh-oh. Rut Oh boy! <laughs> Ooh, speaking of rut row. Uh, you wanna get me out of here? Um, we can finish him right now. E. No, I got out of school. Done. We got Diablo's shadow. What are these circle things above my head? I'm not really sure. I think it's a debuff that Diablo uses. Them boob jiggle physics. That is just weird. I just can't get over that the Prime Evil has boob jiggles. I don't even know if those are boobs. Those are definitely boobs. They're like f armor flaps. Nah, they're boobs. They're armor boobs. Uh oh. They're boobs that protect her. Uh, I love how we're just standing there as Diablo is saying all this stuff. I like how he's not attacking us while he's saying all this stuff. Let me talk shit, but like not actually do anything while I do so. Oh, that hurt real good. Not really. Ooh! He's using Godzilla breath. Alright, get him, Phantasma Dragons. I hope the new Godzilla movie doesn't suck ass. I really hope they get it right. I mean... Right, I know careful. that the new Judge Dredd movie's gonna suck ass, though. Rut Row, Scooby. Ooh! I don't know, he's pretty much dead at this point. He's not really doing much to me. Uh, 
the less life Diablo has, the like the more ridiculous the abilities are, though. Really? Because he's gonna be dead before he can use any of his abilities. Uh oh. Okay. Sweet. Uh, case in point, I killed him. You gotta destroy him now. Uh well. I'm stunned at the moment. So am I. My oh. catapult's doing work though. <laughs> Your catapult destroyed Diablo. <laughs> yep. Oh no! Now I just run. There we go. Oh, I wanted to hit him with a grenade. <laughs> he drops a shit ton of gold. Yeah, Diablo drops like a lot of really nice things. All right, let's see what he drops. Uh, I got that. Okay. Quest complete. Destroy Diablo. Okay. Yeah, I didn't get anything too great. Uh, that's a shitty cloak. Oh, that's pretty nice, I guess. Oh, that's a nice helmet. Click OK to return to the main menu, and I guess we can, uh, you know, discuss the game while we do that. Give a, give a little overview type thing. All right, game ends in thirty. In uh, scootin' fruity. Damn right. All right, here we go. This is gonna be a. Uh, Super tits. <laughs> Sounds like an Adam Sandler movie. That's not even a joke. Dude, maybe somebody should, like, not just let that fall to the earth. You know, maybe, like, scoop that shit up, put it in, like, a Nesquik container or something, <laughs> save it for later. Come on, guys. Dude, all the, the herpes is going away. <laughs> I mean, that's what happened, you know, when I got herpes from that hooker, as soon as I... Lit her on fire and threw her off a building, all my herpes went away. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. There just okay. saying, it's a legit, you know, medical thing. Doctors just refuse to acknowledge it. For good reason. Dude, I think this whole game was actually just about, like, racism in heaven all along. <laughs> it's, uh, definitely what it is. That's why they were in a fight all the time. This is really just because Tyreel got kicked out of his, his fucking club and I have to get him back in. He should have just offered them a hand, EJ, and they probably would have let him in. And allow me to not invalidate all of that by not being a stepping stone between the mortals and angels by taking my place as an angel again. You defeated the other thing. <laughs> Greater challenges never got him to wait you in the nightmare difficulty. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Diablo 3. Uh, Jay Wilson. Rob Pardue. My man. See, Chris Metzen. He does like all the Blizzard stuff. Yeah, I don't know him. No, he does like uh, all the Blizzard stuff. Uh, anyway, the game was uh, <sighs> is as horrible as everybody says. Zach, I mean that's on you. I mean you liked the other Diablos. I didn't. I love the other Diablos. This game. All right, let's put it this way: the version that you played, Tony, was infinitely better than what we played at launch infinitely better than what we played at launch. Um, what we played at launch was in balance, there was constant server instability, and just problems galore. This, at least, was much closer. It was way too easy, but it's closer to what it should have been. It... It's no Torchlight 2! It I is mean... no Torchlight It doesn't have that... F 
Torchlight 2, well, I didn't get not give a shit about the story, was, it was just fun. I don't even remember what happened in the story of Torchlight 2. It, but was, it was just fun. I don't know what this game doesn't do that that one does. Torchlight 2 would just flood the screen with enemies that look different and acted different. We would just melt them all and then... When, I, get... when I used an ability in Torchlight 2... I mean, granted, when I played the warrior, I used literally one <laughs> ability. But of the other... When I played other people, uh, when I got a, a new ability, I was like, holy shit, this new ability is, like, completely different from the last one, and it's, like, really cool and stuff. In Diablo 3, it's, like... Uh, this grenade ability is like the bola ability, but I, I don't need a bow to use it. It's I don't. Yeah. The abilities are kind of lackluster. I mean, the game is the game is good. I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just not Torchlight Torch 2. <laughs> and it's just kind of. I mean, for someone like me who doesn't enjoy ARPGs, I love them. I just stick to Torchlight 2. It's... It really is a shame. Yeah, uh, it is. I I did enjoy uh, playing through this. Yep. If only because I could uh, do Deckard Kane's voice. <laughs> Always I fucking exciting. love Deckard Kane. I don't know anything about Deckard Kane or what he's been through as as a crotchety old man, but uh, I enjoyed imagining what he went through. He'll probably make an appearance in literally every other video I make. It took so many people to make this game. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh my god. These gosh. credits aren't even moving that fast. Jeez. Look <laughs> at all the art people. Holy shit. They obvious, by they... seagulls fly. <laughs> Flavio Mac. Natalia Gomez. Yogi Graham. That sounds like a fake name. They should have just outsourced all of their work to Darfur and they could have had it done in like 20 minutes. Shooting and photography? Vlamir Marquez. Dennis Crabtree. <laughs> Where are you see? Oh, there he is. A These game are some... tracks. A division of Dane tracks. I'm like, oh, you know, we'll have like a serious dis discussion about the game during the credits. Oh, oh, look at that guy's name. I can't pronounce it. <sighs> Edo um, Guiducci. But you yeah. know, you know what I think is the main thing that kind of disappointed me with this. What is the too handholdy? No, the thing is, it was the story, and it was okay. So w when I think of the end boss in this game, mm -hmm. I think about it in the same way as Borderlands One. Yeah, where I know I have to get to the vault. Yeah, but. It's it's only because they tell me to, mm -hmm. like with Handsome Jack in Borderlands Two, like like you they make you hate him, they make you want to go after him, but they don't really do that with Diablo because Diablo doesn't really show up until later. Yeah. They just kind of tell you to go deal with him, and it's what happens along the way that matters. Jesus oh my God, Jesus! Oh my Lord, there were monster voice effects. Yeah. Anyway, but. Like, I, I legitimately had more fun dealing with Asmodan. Yeah. Because, I mean, Asmodan, I, I, he was a one-note kind of guy, because he was like, all according to plan, even when he died. But yeah. I kind of enjoyed having him talk to me the whole time, and what he was saying was kind of interesting. Yeah. And <sighs> overall, I wouldn't mind if it just ended with Asmodan. Like, legitimately, I wouldn't complain. Because dealing with Diablo was not that interesting. Act 4 felt kind of rushed. It, uh, it's just it the, just felt very lazy but. the acts in this game I'm curious to see how act 5 is because that's going to be in their DLC just Bill Warnack why didn't you lead program Diablo to be more interesting come on but legitimately I, I, I really had fun dealing with Asmodan and I enjoyed his story it felt like the most interesting to me um Despite the fact that the humans were fucking retarded and didn't know how to deal with the demons, but it was more fun. I don't know why they kind of had to mm -hmm. make Diablo not interesting. And the game is called Diablo. I mean, he could have like, I think it would it would have been a little bit generic, but I would have enjoyed if throughout the entire game, Diablo would whisper to the main character, like talk to him, but only he could hear um. it in his head. It would be super generic, but I would have enjoyed it because I don't done. give a shit about him. <laughs> Was it? 
other games that have done that. I'm trying to think what other games I do a similar thing. Kind of Borderlands. Yeah, but, yeah, that's why I enjoyed Handsome Jack. He talks to me the whole time. He names a pony Butt Stallion. <laughs> yeah, oh. Did... Ooh. 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 Ooh, my lord. Rebecca Yitzibo. But Damn right. I just didn't give a shit about Diablo the whole time. Yeah. And it was it was upsetting, that ending. I felt like they just randomly kind of threw him in. And well, Aww. That's the Zachary Chow passed away. Oh, poor guy. That's upsetting. I think they were supposed to make you feel for Leia. So that you're like... Oh, I have to kill Diablo. He fucked with Leia. But I didn't give a shit about Leia. Me either. I mean, I gave a shit about Deckard, but that was only because his voice was funny. <laughs> yeah, so Deckard sounded like that since Diablo 1, though. So do you have uh, any other closing thoughts before we end this? Um, Path of Exile is really, really good. <laughs> This game is good, but I'd I'd say go with Torchlight 2 instead. Torchlight 2 or Path of Exile. Torchlight so, uh, 2 probably has the most fun feeling though. Yeah, I had uh, I had the most fun with it. Absolutely. It's the only AR or ARPG I really enjoy. And uh, and the modding support. Oh, There's, modding support is so so good. And it works in multiplayer too, which is ridiculous. I know, it's so good. It's just so hard. They said that they spent like 6 months getting that to work. And it is well worth it. I mean, it is well worth it. I would still recommend the game regardless of, of the modding, but the modding just makes it really good. Especially Synergy's mod. Oh my lord. Yeah, Synergy's mod is excellent. So, yep, this game is good. I mean, I would... I mean, if you're a Blizzard fan, you know, go for it. I'd probably give it, it a 7 want. out of 10. I'd give it... I'd give it a 6.5. Slightly... Yeah. Eh, well... I'd give it a 6. Slightly above average for me. Mm-hmm. Um... So yeah, six, six out of ten, slightly, slightly above average, uh, seven for you. Yep. So uh, see you guys on the next uh, playthrough that we do. Bye.